Good afternoon, beloved. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, it's bright, bright, bright sunny day outside. It's a little warmer than yesterday. It's a marked contrast from yesterday, in fact. Um, so I hope that you have uh, made your way out to experience this day in all of its fullness. I want to um, take a moment and uh, return to yesterday's text. Uh, yesterday was one of those texts that, you know, are um, sneaky. That's how I'll phrase it, sneaky. They're sneaky because you think you already know it. It's short, six verses. And so you think, I already know this. And then as hopefully we saw yesterday, there's more to it. And, and certainly there's more to it uh, that I could have put in and I, I, I ran out of time. So I want to return to that thought that I left out yesterday and I want to go back to what um, Jesus said, uh, Bartimaeus' answer to Jesus' question. Uh, Mark 10, if you're looking, uh, Jesus says to the Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus responds back and he says, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. So in the Greek, and I know we get really, you know, we don't know Greek. And so it, sometimes it seems that those are things that are unimportant. But in the Greek, it, it, you could translate it to, uh, Rabbi, let me look up. Rabbi, let me look up. Not just recover my sight. There's another point to there that says, let, uh, it would mean, let me look up. And you say, well, where else do we find that? So if you go over to say where Jesus blesses the five loaves and two fish, and it says, Jesus, look up, it's the same word there. You say, well, Mark, there's multiple words in English. Well, English takes a lot longer than Greek. Greek can just pile one big thing and four words into one sort of like german um and so he says let me look up now see beloved that puts a whole new spin on this because if you go back to some of the thoughts from yesterday when we hear ourselves not looking at the issues of the blind all around us. Not just the physically blind, but more especially those who are blinded spiritually, those who are blinded by the oppressive systems in which they find themselves. They're blinded by the, um, just the vagaries of life that have come upon them. The oppression that they are going through the weight of the world there's a ton of people out there for whom it is impossible to look up it's impossible for them to look up they can't therefore see the good things of God they can't see hope they can't see um, joy they can't see peace they can't see any of those things they are so weighed down that they cannot look up and i don't know if you've ever been there but i have and it's such a dark dark difficult place but beloved our task is to go and enable people to look up. Whether that task is to enable them to look up because we help through the grace of God to free them from, from some spiritual predicament in which they find themselves, or more pointedly, we go and we are the hands and feet of Jesus and we seek to break the stronghold of whatever it is that is oppressing these people, that is causing them to be unable to look up. And that means we let them look up. So, beloved, 
are you helping them look up today? What are you doing to make the world able to look up and see hope and see joy and see peace and see love and see all of those things that they need to see in order to find God. Jesus says to him, go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he looked up and followed Jesus on the way. There's our job, beloved. There's our job. To look up. Go make some nice day. Help them look up. Do it in the grace and strength of Almighty God. I will see you again on Wednesday. Until then, remember, grace abounds and look up.